There's a lot of people in here that I'm sure have ideas. I'm sure there are people in here who have a notion of some type of entrepreneurial spirit or something. They've always thought about that. When you talk to people, what, what do you say to the person who's thinking about an idea or contemplating a business? The first, the first thing I say is nothing and I listen. I wanna know, I'm gonna give some advice here obviously because there's a lot of people watching, there's a lot of people here, but this is a one-on-one -on -one game. I need to know you. Like, do you have, are you actually an entrepreneur, purebred, and are unhappy because you do work a job because your parents were conservative and you just woke up in the last five years and said, oh my God, I'm an entrepreneur? Are you somebody who has entrepreneurial tendencies, right? You still like the stability of a job, mm. but a little side hustle mm. wouldn't, right? Yeah. It could be a little fun. Mm. I, so first I need to hear, then I need to know real life. Are you in debt? Are you not? Are you check to check? Are you not? Notice how I already referenced it. The first thing I tell everybody is before you start your business, you need to understand your spending on your lifestyle. I think the number one thing, people, everybody wants to start an app because Instagram and Uber and these things happened and 99% of people can't build an app. So where I go is like, let's just start with selling something. You wanna build something, sell something. Mm -hmm. And be honest with yourself. Everyone's like, Gary, you talk about all these opportunities, nothing's happening for me. I'm like, because you get home, you had a bad day at work, and instead of putting in five hours on your business, you watch Netflix because you're trying to escape your unhappiness. Mm -hmm. To build something, you gotta put in work. Mm. And you gotta put in patience. But number one, Steve, number one, self-awareness. I'm, I'm so excited right now because I'm gonna say something and I genuinely, one person in this audience is gonna take it and do something with it. Take a step back and think about your favorite thing in the world. I'll give you one that feels very real to me. I believe that somebody right now watching this makes uncomfortably delicious pumpkin pie. Okay? Well, say this or you have to say sweet potato. Respect. <laughs> Respect. Yeah. So you change, once you say sweet potato, you change the whole game. Yep. See. Respect. Yeah. On this sweet potato pie, <laughs> if you are the best at making it, what a lot of people don't understand is if you went and you had 39 friends on Instagram, 110 on Facebook, small, and you posted, I'm now selling the sweet potato pie that you all know about, and you know, 99% of people are just have followers that are friends, neighbors, so they know already a little bit about the reputation of the sweet potato pie, mm -hmm. and you post that, and you go, it's $9. Mm -hmm. Please reply or DM me if you'd like one. And three people reply. Three, you know, and let, I'm gonna paint the whole picture for you. Yeah. Your friend's son just went to college. He came over for dinner one time and had it and loved it, and he just wants it, and he's got nine bucks. Yeah. And he replies, you've just started the process of actually building a business that you can actually build. All of a sudden, you wake up and 42 people want it. Now you take a step back and you're like, wait, I have a job. I babysit my daughter's kids. I'm busy, but you love making that sweet potato pie. Yeah. What that means is when you get home at 9.15 at night after you grinded and took care of your responsibility, you're gonna bake four of them. My friends, I know somebody felt that in this room and I- Yeah, that's real. That's, see, that's what, because look, man, look. This is the information you have to hear. You have no idea what you're sitting on. But in, you, you're looking at it like, like, like Gary Vee said. You keep looking at this monster corporation when you got to start something.